Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's just Janine and in today's video I will be doing a wash and go and showing you an easy hairstyle you can rock for all my natural ladies with short kinky curly hair. So if you would like to see how I'll achieve this look, just keep watching. So I'm going to show you how to do that and I'm also going to show you some new products. Well, two new products that I have not shown you all that I'm going to do, uh, that I'm going to put on my, really? Get off my couch! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's just Janine. Today's video is going to be a wash and go for you guys. So for you natural curly girls out there that may be looking for something a little different with your hairstyle or maybe a new hairstyle to add to your already existing hairstyles, I have a little something on my own which is a side mohawk. So I'll be showing that to you. I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to show you some products that I use. Two new products that I'll be using that I have not shown you all before. One of them I just picked up today uh, that I haven't used in a long time. Well, maybe I haven't used it at all, but I'm going to show you that. So this will be a wash and go. So I'll be showing you how to do a side mohawk and I'll be showing you the products I'll be using and just a real simple a style that you can accomplish as well. With that being said, let's get started. So I just want to show you a few of the products I'll be using for my wash and go, which the first one is from Shea Moisture, which is the Jamaican Black Castor Oil, Strengthen and Grow Shampoo, Shea Butter, Peppermint, and Carotene. I love their products, all natural ingredients, and it works really great for my hair. So for my conditioner, I will be using the Restorative Mask by One and Only, which is a deep conditioner. Since my hair has been dry, this one will really come in handy for this wash and go. For my styling products, I'll be using two, the Eco Styler Gel Black Castor and Flaxseed Oil and also the Shea Miracle Moisture Intense to see which one I would rather use on my hair. Of course, I always have to have my backup Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I'm running a little low on this one, but I use this to apply to my scalp and just to massage it in. And my absolute favorite staple product is the Ors Edge Control. Best edge control for my hair. I use it hands down with every hairstyle that I do. And also my trusty Demon Brush to get those curls popping and also my water bottle spray. And I'll show you how I use that spray bottle in the video. So I just took my hair down, took out all the bobby pins, and I'm about to go ahead and start washing it. And we're washing. Now I'm putting on the deep conditioner, just working it through my hair really well. And then I'm gonna put on my plastic cap and get up under the jaw for about 10 minutes. Okay guys, so I just finished um, with my hair, so it's washed, it's nice and fresh, nice and soft. So I'm going to use a little of the um, castor oil, I'm just going to go into my scalp. I'm just going to work it all around. I'm just going to rub that into my scalp. The next thing I want to do is I'm going to use my, I don't usually use this for this hairstyle, but because I'm going to test out two different gels, I'm going to have to, I'm going to split it and then test it with one gel and then the rest of it I'll test um, with the other gel. So I'm going to look it in the mirror for just a second. 
So I think I will start with the Eco Styler Gel first. So I got a little mirror over here to look into. So let me do that. Part this side first. I'm just gonna do a section of, section of this just to see um, how it curls my hair or defines my curls, I should say. So I just got this section right here. I'm just gonna start with this and I'm gonna get some Eco Styler Gel. Smells pretty good. And we're just gonna rub it on here. From the root to the tip of your hair. Gonna get up and work it in there. The root to the tip of your hair. And I'm gonna use my Denman brush. And we're gonna see how it defines. Well, it brushes through pretty softly. It's not too difficult. My hair is kinky curly, so. We'll see how. Let me get a close up so y'all can see how well it defines the curls. So let me get up in here so y'all can see. Y'all see some curls? Okay. do it one more time so I'm just going to define now this is the Eco Styler Gel so let's see how well that defined that defined pretty well it feels nice and soft I'm getting the back I think I'll put just a little bit more in the back here. I don't think I got too much back there. Alright, so we're going to define that section in the back. Alright. Alright, so I'm going to now use the other gel, which, well, actually it's a styling custard, and I've shown y'all this one already. So, this is what I'm going to use for the remainder of my hair. I'm just going to take, and this is kind of uh, liquidy-like almost. You see how it kind of shakes? It's almost like a watery type. But it's real moisturizing for my hair. So I'm going to take a glop. <laughs> take the Shea Moisture and we're going to just work that in. And this stuff has a pretty good slip to it. It's very moisturizing. It just glides right into your hair. And I also want to say that about that restorative mask that I did as a deep conditioner. That also has a very good slip to it. And it's very and it's um, very conditioning for my hair. So just working in the um, the product all over my hair. And again, this is the Shea Moisture Intense Moisture Intense, and that it is because it's got a good slip and a really nice smell to it. Really nice smell. My tangles. So once I have the product fairly worked in, I think I might do just a tad bit more, just a tad. This Eco Styler Gel is, is, is really holding on. <laughs> I'm gonna take the dimming brush and we're just gonna brush all the hair to one side. Let me get to the side so you can see. So you're just gonna brush all the hair to one side 
I got tangles, but it, it's it's not as bad as you think. <laughs> it's just initially when you start brushing it, it kind of, but it, it gets gets itself together after that. So once all the hair is swooped to one side, this is when I take my um, edge control. My orange edge control. And I start to go around um, my edges on this side. And the edge control actually helps to lay, keep it laid to the side. So um, that's what I love about this particular edge control. So I'm going to do that. Kind of go around the back a little bit. And I'm just going to let you see so far what it looks like. Okay. And so we are going to, um, I'm going to take this brush. I didn't show this, but this is just my uh, extra little trusty brush to, to swoop, uh, soften up the uh, edge control, just around the edges only. But the main brush is this. This is really not a true dimming brush. This is just a generic, but I say dimming brush. All right, so we're going to swoop a little more. Define just a little more. All right, so now that we've got all the product in, it's time to just start pinning in the bobby pins. So, and you can put them anywhere you want, but what I do, and I'll show you the back, because I normally start somewhere in the middle of the back first. But I take a, I hold my hair right about here, and I'll take a bobby pin. And I'll slide it in right there. And I'll just start placing them until I feel that they're going in the direction I want them to go. Push it over just a bit. As you can see, scoot you back just a little, little bit, so you can kind of see. And you can fluff it out. You can also take your finger and you can uh, do some finger curls, like particularly in the front. My hair is different curls in different parts of my hair. So I'll take like this right here in the front. It's not as defined. So I can manipulate it and define the curls. So I'll take, uh, let's say this little piece right here. I'll take a little brush, brush it out. And it's already got product on it. So I'll just take my finger and I'll just... Wrap it like that a couple times, and it makes a curl. And you can just do this in different places where your hair may not be as defined, because I know 
everybody's curls are not the same all of your head in a lot of cases uh, there are some curls on your hair that may be super super defined but for me in the front um, I have to kind of finger coil these just a little bit just to define them and just to kind of get it to lay down so that way it doesn't look um, it doesn't look frizzy so but yeah um, I just want to show y'all this like I said this cute little side mohawk so I'm gonna give you another view and you can you know put down your little baby hairs too if you want to so you can just you know kind of side swoop those the water bottle um, is basically because I did mention about the water bottle earlier so the water bottle basically is after you wash your hair sometimes your hair may dry out so you just you know spruce it up as you're putting the product in so that way it's not you know difficult to comb through while you're putting the product in and also when I go to sleep I do uh, put my hair in a bonnet um, before when I go to sleep so when I wake up I can just take the bonnet off Take the water bottle, just spruce up this side. It'll soften right back up because there's product still in it. So that's all I need. So you could wrap it. You could just put a, a silk uh, bonnet on it or a silk scarf on it. Take it down, spritz it with the water bottle. It'll go right back to looking like this. So you can just, you know, shoot out the door. So that's the reason why I like to use the water bottle. And that way you don't have to take your hair down, do it again, put more product in it, because it's just more hassle than it's worth. So tie it down with a, a silk scarf, water bottle in the morning, just to fluff it back out. That's all you need to do. Thank you so much guys for tuning in and watching my video on my wash and go and also how I do my side mohawk. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you could try it out and see how you like it if it works for you. But I thank you for watching me uh, do mine. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and please, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and please subscribe. And I will put all of the products in the description below. So until then, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. See you later. See you later. See you later.